Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Hewell Hauser, and here we are in downtown Los Angeles, right on Broadway. Now, there's nothing quite as exciting as coming downtown and walking up and down Broadway. There's always a lot of energy here, a lot of excitement here. This is the heart of downtown LA. Of course, over the years, Broadway has changed. The demographics have changed. Right now, here on the corner of 7th and Broadway, we're right in the heart of the jewelry district. And speaking of the jewelry district, there is no finer jewel in downtown Los Angeles than right here. Clifton's Cafeteria, which has been here since 1935. And if anybody knows the story of Clifton's Cafeteria, it's the Clinton family who have been, well, you are Clifton's, <laughs> even though your name is Clinton. That's a whole nother story. That's another whole Don, story. welcome. Your son, Robert. Welcome, Huel. And your sister, Jean. Right. Now, uh, your dad started all this back in? 1935. And one of the things we wanted to start you in front was to have you see this terrazzo, this, this mosaic tile. This is beautiful. Which tells the story of Los Angeles as it was in 35. Look at this, Louis, over here. Let's walk over here, Jean, because Here's a desert scene right here. City Hall, the new stadium which had been built for the Olympics, orange groves, missions, and the beach. And this is just one side of this wonderful uh, mosaic kind of a mural here. And the original front door was right here where it says Clifton's Brookdale. Uh -huh. So you're looking at what was the original front entrance. And it was cafeteria. called Clifton's Brookdale. Now, Don, how did it get the name Clifton's Brookdale? Well, Dad had fallen in love with Brookdale Lodge in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And you'll see a picture indoors. And uh, it inspired him to replicate that in downtown Los Angeles as a memory for his own pleasure, but to, that others in the city could enjoy what he had enjoyed as a boy. So he copied a lodge that he had visited up north in Santa Cruz. Where the stream flowed right through the dining room, and there were trout in that stream, and you could see those redwood trees growing right through. Your dad was, what, third generation? Uh, dad, dad was... Fourth generation uh, restaurant yeah, people? he was third generation restaurant family right here from 88. 1888, right here in L.A., and then San Francisco, and back to L.A. In, in 31, and he opened this place in 1935. And he was hardcore California. Indeed, he was. Born in Berkeley. And the idea inside was that he was going to recreate this kind of woodsy, uh, Northern California redwood he, look for people yeah. to come and enjoy in downtown LA. He loved the redwoods and that's what you're going to see indoors. It's amazing <laughs> because when you go inside it really hasn't changed that much no. since 1935. That is true. Just a little dusting here and there and a little sprucing up. <laughs> All right. We're going to, Jane, we're going to let your nephew, Robert, give us the tour. We're all going to go inside, take the $5 tour of Clifton's, and then we're going to hook up again. And then we are. And have lunch. And have birthday. And have birthday, which is another whole story. Oh, boy, this is something. Howdy, gentlemen. You, you just finished. Oh my you gosh, just finished thanks. having lunch in the Redwoods here. Yeah, this is a great place. <laughs> now, are you all regulars here? I'm sorry, Louie, we caught you off guard. We ran into these guys just coming out. Are you a regular down here? I first came here when I was, according to my mother, four years old in 1947 and really? 48, when you used to come downtown shopping. You know, all the major department stores were here, and I actually, one of my earliest memories are the pictures of the. Sierra Nevada and stuff which are upstairs. I remember those. So this really kind of introduced you to California. In, in a way it did. And you're still here. I'm still here. Our offices are about a block away 
And uh, of course, there was a span of about 40 years when I didn't ever come here. But when we moved downtown, I came over here on Broadway and said, I remember this place. And it hadn't changed that much. No, it had, as far as my memory, of course, I was only about four years old, wow. and it hasn't changed much at all. <laughs> here we are. Look at this, Louie. We're in, we're in the forest. Here are the trees, fountains. There's wood everywhere. Uh, we've got the mural of the redwoods uh, over red here. Redwood scene. Look and up here, Louie, up in moose. the corner, a moose. Right. Now, all of this was your dad's dream. Well, this was my grandfather's dream, Clifford Clinton. Oh, that's right. And he right. grew up spending his summer vacations in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And he was inspired by the outdoors and the redwood uh, feeling and the uh, peacefulness that it gave. And so when he opened this cafeteria, he wanted to recreate that theme here on Broadway. And this was right in the middle of the Depression. And there was a lot of depression out there. And he wanted a place where people could come and they could eat and that they could relax when they eat and that their spirits could be uplifted. And when they left, they'd be a, a little bit lighter. Now, at I've, least in spirit, I've, not in stomach. <laughs> I've seen the old pictures you have up yeah. front yes. uh, that show the place back then. And it looks pretty much like it does now. We haven't changed much. We've added a few things. We've had to take a few things away but we've tried to keep the theme and the feeling exactly the same as Clifford Clinton made in 1935. And back then, you said they had canaries in here? We used to have, when the health department allowed us, singing canaries in the dining room. And these redwood trees had little brackets and little canary cages and live canaries that would be wow. singing. Yeah. Now, are these, you said these redwood is, this is original? Well, this is redwood bark that's enclosing a steel column. These are the columns that hold up the building. And wow. he, Clifford, wanted to disguise these, and so he sent his brother up to the Redwood country, and he brought back all of this material to give this feeling, the Redwood bark. There's some tables made out of Redwood, the Redwood slice that's over oh, against the fireplace. Oh, look, let's go over and look at that. And this, oh look, this, this is one this of This is a, a cross section of a giant sequoia that's 1400 years old and he polished it and finished it. So if you wanted to count the rings, you could get to 1400, we think. Wow, but, and he uh, brought this down brought from this. Northern California. He did, he did. And we have our little uh, points to show the uh, date when the oh, tree yeah, was cut. Oh yeah, the different down. things that happened. And then here it talks about Clifford Clinton opens Clifton's in 1931. <laughs> the original Clifton's, yeah. which was down on yeah. Olive Street. Okay, so this was the second it, Clifton. This was number two in the chain. Now what is this little thing here? It well, looks like a, a farm scene. Well, it's supposed to look like a little cabin that you might see out in the woods. And uh, we had this space, and we weren't quite sure what to do with it. It used to have tables on it. But when we remodeled, we decided to build a little cab in there just to fit the theme. It's uh, just decorative. So this, that wasn't original. That no, was built. No, we, we added that. In fact, uh, there was a windstorm about five years ago, and that's my fence that it, it fell down in the backyard. So you brought it and put it up here. I saved that lumber and brought it here. What's the story on the mural over here, on well, the painting over the here? The mural was painted by Enar Peterson, and he was a L.A. muralist, fairly famous during the 30s and 40s, and he did many works downtown, and this is one of the few that still remains, uh, and it's a redwood forest theme. Wow. It's so interesting the way people walk up the stairs. It does flow. And eat in these little niches. And it's great for people watching. Many of our customers come and they'll eat and they'll drink coffee and they'll just watch other people watching other people. Robert, did you yeah. see the guy we met by oh, accident coming in? I did. I'm so glad you saw him because so many people are like that. They, as they were kids, they'd come down with their parents and they'd shop on Broadway and they'd go to the department stores and they'd go to Clifton's. And so many now are coming back and they're rediscovering Clifton's and it's like a, it, they're like kids all over again. They see the they see the places and they say, you know, this hasn't changed a bit. Yeah. And I said, that's what we're trying to do. We want to keep it the same. What a but, neat view but, from up here. But so many people are like that fella. Wow. Oh, wow. Now we've got another whole 
Yeah, this is our mezzanine level. Another whole room. Oh, look how it goes all the way back here. And along the walls, we have scenes of uh, California uh, locations. There's missions, missions the Bay Bridge, the Bay Bridge San Francisco, orange, trees, orange trees, Joshua trees. So you've yeah. got the whole thing here. Well, we wanted to sort of give people a California feeling, and so Clifford. Uh, came up with a lot of these transparencies to give Look that Look at this, just the lamp and the old painting of the trees. This is great. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Now Come let's get here back here waterfall. to the water. Look at this old wagon wheel lamp. And here now we're getting into the, into the uh, running stream fountain. This is the, uh, the source of our, of our stream and uh, it's lit with neon lighting. And now neon was pretty new back in 1935. Look at this, Louie, it runs, you walk right over it, and it runs right down, all the way down and goes, hotty, how y'all doing? Yeah. They're eating by the stream that's down right, there. That's right, that's right. Careful you is, don't step in it. This is fun. And it goes all the way around here. Look at this, Louie. Look at this view here. You really do get a nice sense of scope. And you can see the moon across the way. Oh, look at it up on the side of the wall there with, with an little... owl. Very good. There's a little owl there. <laughs> now we're on the front mezzanine. Front mezzanine. And you get good views of the dining room from here. And uh... now you all look like regulars too. Well, uh, my family came here in the 40s uh, many times when I was tiny and just today we were downtown and said I'd like to go to Clifton's where I came with my mother when I was four when I graduated from morning class to afternoon class kindergarten and the teacher said you get a day off do something special so I went home and said mother we are supposed to do something special so she brought me to Clifton's and we went to see Meet Me in St. Louis. But I remember, that was it, yeah, back. But I remember standing, mother picked out whatever I was to eat and she said, you can choose a jello, whatever one you want. I looked at the red, I looked at the green, I thought this is a big decision. And I thought of that today when I was, you know, standing. Well, you didn't get jello today, no, you got no. strawberry pie. <laughs> You're right. Well, <laughs> nice to meet you all. Now we're heading into the Cypress Room. Now what is the Cypress Room? Well, it was a little group room that we made to uh, accommodate small parties. Uh -huh. And uh, it has Cypress paneling on the walls. Well, we got a, the name. a saw up there. And we wanted to give Pictures it sort of, of a, Paul Bunyan. Right, a logging theme. And a fellow kind of contemplating. Have you had your lunch? Oh yeah, I just finished eating. Uh-huh, are you a regular in here? I'm pretty regular. Uh huh. Yeah. And you like coming into the Cypress Room? Well, this I don't come in here too often, but I did come in today. Uh huh. Because I won't, didn't want to be disturbed. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. And here we are with our camera. No, I was referring to why I was eating. I Sir? Was, I was referring to my eating. Oh, to your eating? Yes. When well, I you've eating. already finished, so yeah. I hope we, it was okay for us to. Oh, yes, it's all right. Your name is? Uh, A.B. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, I'm Hugh House. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is kind of a... I don't know who they names is, yeah. but your well, name... Who's the owner? Robert oh. Clinton. Nice uh, to see oh, you. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah He's nice. He's guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Nice to meet you, yeah, sir. I've seen you many times. Many, many times. You do have yeah. a lot of regulars We do, here. quite a few, quite a few. Um, a lot of seniors will come almost every day. Uh -huh. And uh, it's more than just a place to eat. It's sort of a little club. And they'll meet people and they'll... Uh, They'll talk about their day, and, and then they'll go, and then they'll come back for lunch, or they'll come back for dinner. Yeah. But we have many that come two or three times a day. Don, what has been the, you've watched downtown kind of have its ups and its downs over the years. Yeah, for sure. We're, are we having an, an up now? Everything we read in the paper says people are moving into these lofts downtown. Yeah, there's, there's more of that, and uh, there is a resurgence. There, there's sort of a new vitality. It's slow in coming. But uh, it appears to me that we are now in an upgrade uh, situation. It's getting better. There is, uh, there are more foot traffic. Uh, there's well, more Broadway office. is of more heavily yeah. traveled and office occupancy. More and more, uh, it is coming back. We had 10 or 15 years of down, but now 
thank the good Lord, it's coming back. Well, I tell you what, it's amazing that the family held on <laughs> during those down years. <laughs> yeah. Were there You're some right. deficit You're spending right. years during those years? There yeah, were always. Few. always. <laughs> there were a few. Yeah, bless your heart. Thanks. <laughs> Now, I ran into a couple of customers as we were walking down the stairs here. You're coming here just pretty much on a regular um, basis? Actually, on weekends. Yeah, Saturdays, Sundays, I used to come here. And why I do like you come here. here? Because I like the, you know, the atmosphere, and I like the food. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, all kind of food they have, you know, vegetables, meats, and salads, whatever you like. You know, we hadn't talked about the food. I guess that's something to talk about as well. Well, we should talk about it. That's what we do. <laughs> that's right. Well, nice to meet you. Your name nice is? Nice to meet you, sir. Claudio Beltran. And Eduardo Guerrero. You all are the guys we waved at from upstairs. You were sitting here by the stream. Yes, yeah, yeah. Is that your are. favorite table? Uh, actually, I like that one uh -huh. on the corner. And, but today we, we, we just prefer So you can look out over everything. Yes, yeah, that's well, right. nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you, sir. Let's talk a little bit about the food. Well, let's look at this food right here. Look at this. Oh, boy. Egg foo What yon. is this? Um, egg foo <laughs> yon. That's egg foo yon. It is. Yeah, egg foo yon. Ah. Boy, you've got... Well, the food starts Look at right this. here. You've got this stuff everywhere. The saws well, and the, the and the wood. We carried the theme throughout. Oh, look! Now Look at this, Louie. This is what Louie and I are going to be eating lunch here today. Pull this up is a chair. The strawberries. This is uh, flan. Flan. Uh, bread pudding. Bread pudding. Here's the fruit. fresh fruit. A few healthy items up here. Here are the salads. Salads down yes. here. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, chips. Salsa, More salads, coleslaw, beets. We're taking a we're taking a tour of the whole. Uh, we're glad, yeah, but you, we want you to know the manager of this cafeteria, who's Roger Maldonado. Hi, Roger. And he's responsible for that very food that you're looking at. 1960. Really? Look at this, Louis. Just look where we're standing. That's look at right. this whole thing here. That's right. This is amazing. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, I, don't, I don't know which intrigues us the most, the food or the atmosphere of the place. Yeah. Come on and show us what you've got here. Oh, yeah, Come on, sure. Gene. We got oh, here's this jello the lady was talking there. about. Very popular jello. This now, she, uh, sour cream jello. Gene, sour cream. the lady we met upstairs said that when she came here as a little girl, she had to choose between the green and the red jello. Exactly. But now the thing that's popular is the one that we call confetti which has all of the colored jellos in it. And this is confetti jello. We got all kinds of meat here, turkey, roast beef. She's getting some of that, uh, what is that, Robert? Beef stew. Beef stew. We got and all roast, the vegetables. And halibut. And then we get down to the desserts, the breads. Bread, desserts. We've got quite a variety. Wow. Now, is it hard? to have this many items going in a cafeteria every day? It's very hard, and uh, Roger has perfected this over these uh, 40 years. You have to make hundreds of items every day from scratch, and the key to cafeterias is you don't want leftovers. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to know how much to make, you have to know how many people you're gonna serve that day, and uh, it, it's a lot of planning, a lot of planning. Roger, Roger what's, your, what's your busiest day here? Weekends. Weekend. Weekends and the holidays. Well, Saturday and Sunday we open three lines. Right now we have two lines open for lunch. Saturday uh -huh. and Sunday we open three lines. And yeah. what's your favorite, what's the most popular item here? Well, on weekends we have the roast turkey, hen cow roast turkey, and uh, roast beef. The macaroni is very popular. You gotta uh -huh. try the macaroni. A lot of people come up like just for the macaroni. Just for the macaroni? Just for the macaroni. They love the macaroni. What is it about the Clifton's macaroni, Robert? Well, it must be a secret I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> But they keep coming back for it. That's right. We have a lot of items like that that other people just don't do. Yeah. Uh, you can't find roast turkey year round at most restaurants. They just sell it for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And like Robert said, a lot of it is in the uh, planning so that you don't have a lot of leftovers. That's right. We, we also do everything by recipes. We follow recipes. Really? And everything's all by recipes. Recipes that we have for years, you know. And there's items like this one right here, three cake. We've been doing it for years. Very popular. Oh. Now this is an old Clifton's it's recipe. An old Clifton recipe. This one right here. And uh, what's this called? Strawberry, strawberry 
cake. Strawberry cream cake. Strawberry cream, cream cake. Strawberry cream cake. Well, oh, I got some on my sweater well, too. That'll happen. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> lemon meringue. Let's show the lemon meringue. Lemon meringue also is an item that you don't find anywhere else. Wow. It's made from scratch. We don't use very much cans right here. We make everything. The only thing we buy from outside is sliced bread. We bake every, all the bread over here. So we do everything from scratch. Well, that's been part of our secret, is to try and do as much from scratch as we can. And I have to credit my Aunt Jean for our food quality, our recipe system, and for keeping our standards up. She is every day down here tasting the food, along with Roger, to make sure that it's up to the quality. And if it's not, we take it off. Watch your head here, Louie. Look, this is really interesting. Coming back out here, I just noticed you got Smokey the Bear up there with a fish hanging from his line. Yeah, he's been fishing in that stream. Yeah, that's a redwood bear that's carved with a chainsaw. That is amazing. And over here, you have a little chapel with right. a cross on the front. Right, that's a little chapel that uh, used to have a diorama inside it, a, a scene of the redwood forest a min in miniature. And there was a button you could push and it would play an inspirational recorded message. Uh, my grandfather was interested in lifting people's spirits and uh, he used things like that to do that. You remember the garden at the other Cliftons? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what he had here and it would inspire people and you'd go out onto the street feeling a little better. Wow. Well, you still go out on the street feeling a little better. Well, we hope so, we hope so, that's our goal. Now, you know, I'm just looking at the table I want. Look up here, Louie, behind the deer. Oh, that's one of my favorite. Howdy, yeah. fellas. Look at them up there. We usually get a lot of sweethearts at that table. I bet. Because it's quiet. Wow. Howdy, are you a regular here? Every day. What do you mean every day? Every day, I come here for lunch. And what do you get every day for lunch? Vegetables. Mm-hmm. And uh, mostly turkey. Do you, have you, re you recognize this lady? Every day. Every day. And I love you, you. Wait a minute, you don't get tired of this every day? No, it's a good wholesome cook meal, home cooked uh -huh. meal. I don't have to cook at night. <laughs> and, just... and where do you sit when you come? Right here with my friend. Come on. We come every day. Right here. You're right here. Right here. <laughs> Y'all come every day? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he laughing? I don't know. He didn't want me to go and get your attention. But I, I, I just love your show so much. Uh -huh. And to see you in my favorite restaurant, a cafeteria, I couldn't believe it. She comes every day. We come every day. Really? Really. Now he's talking. <laughs> Now I'm joining this couple here for balcony dining up here. What are you all having today? I'm having the pot roast. Uh -huh. And I'm having the half uh, roasted chicken. Now everybody else we've met here today, they're all regulars, most of them. It is really funny. I haven't been here in years. And my mother used to bring me here when I was little. And we were walking by and I said, we've got to go to Clifton's because I haven't been here in so if long. If we hear one more story about somebody's <laughs> mother bringing them here. If everybody who used to come here comes back, we're going to have rich. to. be rich. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Did you used to come here? No, actually I grew up in Boston, so this was new. She was treating me by bringing me here and someone definitely had vision when they uh, <laughs> built nice. this restaurant. <laughs> Now here's a lady who came up to us and said yes. what? Well, my grandfather has been coming for a long, long time. My ho his whole family has been coming here and it's, it's part of my family history. And I've been coming here too, as well as my grandfather. Really? I have, I came here today, prompted me to come here today because I felt, every time I come here, I feel my grandfather here because it's held so much history. I just, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's such a, it just holds deep in my heart. So I just really love this place. Wow. The people, even the people know me since I was like a little girl. I wow. even have photos of my grandfather, his wife, and it's just like, oh, it's such unbelievable. Do you remember it as a little girl? I do. I really do. I remember as a little girl coming here, like coming through the mirrors and just looking myself in the mirror and like making funny faces and just, just having a, lot of, like, a long line of people just waiting to get their tray. And, and just, being with your grandfather. Exactly. Being with my grandfather. I remember him getting his regular breakfast, his coffee with cream and sugar, the eggs that they made fresh for him all the time, scramble. I just remember it like it was yesterday every time I come in here. Well, we're ending up under the moose head over here at the birthday table. Now, Jean, what's the deal here? Well, 
One of the things that Clifton's has done since we started was to have birthday parties. And we decorate the table, we furnish the cake, we set it up and try to, to actually give as much as we can in the way of a birthday celebration. But today, because you're here, we wanted to show you the most famous desserts that we have at Clifton's. Yeah, you brought them over, right? That's right, that's right. And there they are, and Roger's that, gonna tell you about them. Now, we've already seen most of these. Let's see if I can remember it. This is the carrot cake. The carrot cake, you're right. The key, key lime key lime. A flan, flan, Mexican flan. The lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. Custard pie. Custard. And it's, it's the cream uh, strawberry. Strawberry cream, cream cake. Strawberry. And the coconut. And the coconut. 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 Right. But I'm having for lunch the turkey and dressing, which is one of your favorites yeah. here. I'm having in favor of the lady who had the big decision when she was a kid between the green and the red. I'm having the red jello. Because I'm originally from the South, get a shot of this, Louie. I'm having the black eyed peas and macaroni. the world famous <laughs> macaroni, macaroni and, cheese. and cheese. You're right. Well, this is great. We're getting ready to have a feast. Thank you, Don. Thanks for coming, Huel. This is And we sure wonderful. appreciate it. And uh, I, I would like to say that the very first birthday was my fifth birthday at the cafeteria and that started the that started this uh, celebrity feature here that you really? see. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Welcome. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you. We'll be back. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Roger. Hey, thank you I coming. cannot believe Welcome. as much as I love downtown that I have never been to this place before. <laughs> you'll be back just like all those other people. Absolutely. I'll be back and hopefully you'll be back too because we started off by saying that Clifton's Cafeteria was located in the Jewelry District and that this was, and now we know for sure, it has been since 1935, a real Los Angeles jewel. Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit to Clifton's Cafeteria here in downtown Los Angeles. And here's the deal. This cafeteria is open from 7 in the morning until 7 at night, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Been opened and operated on a continuous basis since 1935. So come on down to downtown LA. This is located right on the corner of 7th and Broadway. There's plenty of parking. There's a parking lot right across the street. And don't be afraid to come to downtown Los Angeles. This place is enjoying a wonderful resurgence, especially on the weekends. There's all kinds of activity down here. So rediscover downtown. Come down here with your family and your friends and your neighbors. Have lunch at Clifton's and spend the rest of the afternoon exploring all the wonderful treasures of downtown Los Angeles. Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.